coming so indecisive. It's going to be something pretty uh, extraordinary before they unearth it. As for tonight's case with Dacos... He's a ball player. He's just, he doesn't know anything else but to do with playing with great skill and ability, and uh, we're hoping that Peter will be exonerated tonight. Well, the West Coast Eagles will be out because they've got no worries at all. Carl Langdon at his reckless best. The Eagles forward still on a high after his solid performance against the Sydney Swans. Coming onto the ground in the second term, Langdon collected 16 possessions, eight marks, and almost unbelievably gave away no free kicks. I actually, I knew I'd never gave away a free kick, and I actually went to the stats to just see if they'd put one on me for, uh, for a bit of fun. Playing alongside Langdon, David Hines, one of the AFL's most improved and most consistent players in season 92. He also managed 16 possessions and nine marks. Obviously, play, playing centre forward or in, in the forward lines, of, you know, having a, a marking player there is obviously a good thing for the side and a way for the opposition. So if I can take grabs, I'm, I'm pretty happy. The pair not only combined successfully on field, but have formed a business partnership off it, owning and operating the new Venus flytrap trays. Become good friends off the field. Obviously, him coming from South Australia has been difficult for him settling in over here, but uh, you know, we get on well together and uh, hopefully this will be a successful business partnership. Well, he, he likes getting in there and throwing himself in there like he does on the footy field, so yeah. You know, I'll, I'll let him go for it. I'd rather just sort of sit back and watch Run Unduly rough play. Dacos must answer a charge that he allegedly need John Gastev to the head during Saturday night's clash between Collingwood and the Bears at Carrara. Magpie officials, although optimistic that Dacos will get off, hope the Stars' record as a fair and brilliant player will be taken into account. Club president Alan McAllister has also made himself available to act as a character witness if necessary. Defender Craig Kelly is also up tonight, facing a month-old charge of charging the West Coast Eagles' Mitchell White. The Pies are also waiting to see if the league is going to switch their Round 19 clash with Essendon from Friday night at the MCG to Sunday. If the move is made, it is likely that the Melbourne-Richmond match, presently set down for Saturday, would be played on the Friday night. The South East Melbourne Magic made it. Roach is bewildered with the decision, saying his medical advice is that he's not a danger to anyone on the field. There was a lot of concern about, and it was a big question, just what do we do? Do we allow him to play? And 